Hey guys, it's your girl Maya Nicole and today I'm going to be making hot Cheeto covered mozzarella sticks. Honestly. Okay, so first I'm going to go over everything that I'll be using today. First on the list is vegetable oil. I'm going to need two bowls. I'm going to need string cheese, hot Cheetos, a Ziploc bag. And this is optional, but this is so that I can crush the hot Cheetos. Also, you're going to need, you can put it in a pan, but it's easier to put it in like a deep frying pan. And you also need eggs. Okay, this is a small disclaimer. I never made these before, but you know, first time for everything. So first, I'm going to crack two eggs and I'm going to put it inside the bowl and I'm going to whisk it up. Okay, so now you can't really see, but it's all this stuff. And next, I'm going to start on my hot Cheetos. So basically, what I'm going to do is open my hot Cheetos inside of the bag. Make sure it's airtight to get all of the air out. Press it, seal it, get all the air out. And I'm basically just gonna use this and bang on it. I already made a hole in it. Okay, so it seems pretty crushed up to me, so, okay, so, I mean, it's crushed up, but like, I wanted it a little bit more so that it's like, okay, so this is something I didn't name in the beginning, but I got out some foil so I could have something to put the coated cheese sticks on when I Put the egg and hot Cheeto on there. Hot Cheeto and my egg that you can't see. And I can't really do nothing because I don't want to spill it. I'm gonna take all of them out the pack and I'm just um, gonna. Oh my god, this is gonna take a while. Okay, so I've taken all of the cheese sticks out the pack and now I'm going to dip them into the egg first then into the hot Cheeto powder, and then the egg, and then into the hot Cheeto powder. So, it's all covered in egg. And then, I'm gonna put it in the powder and coat it in the powder. Like, we're allowed, like, bury it. Coat it in the powder. And like, it's not coated all the way, so then you put it back in the pot. I should have put more egg. Put it back with the egg, then you put it back in the powder. Cover it completely. Okay, y'all? I'm not gonna lie. These hot Cheetos kind of stink. I like hot Cheetos, but these stink. Like that, completely covered. Woo! That's for me. Put it in the in the egg, then put it in the, the powder and then in the egg. And this is what it looks like. It looks really nasty. Like it really looks disgusting. But hopefully it's gonna taste good. And as you can see, like some of the parts aren't covered, which was that's why this is what I was talking about. That's what I was doing. My first one actually is covered completely. But I think that's because like everything in the cup was dry. But one problem I kept, this is like my last one. One of these ones is my last one. And like you can see like the difference. So, okay, so basically I've turned on the the thing 
and I put oil up into it. So now to test to make sure it's hot enough, I take a little bit of flour and I sprinkle it in there. It should like fizz a little bit. That's how you know that it's ready. So I have a dish to put the, the cheese sticks in after they're done. And I also have this, but oh, I also have this to scoop them in, scoop them out, move them around. Take my first one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. Ooh! Okay, so my mom came with an, up with an idea for the ones that aren't completely coated. I'm gonna get some flour, put it in the Ziploc bag, and then put the ones that aren't completely coated in Ziploc bag, move it around. Just get some flour on it so that it's, so the cheese isn't everywhere. I'm gonna rise into the top, so I'm just gonna move it around and see what it's looking like. Um, okay. So, it looks pretty good, but I'm gonna leave it in there for a little bit longer. Ooh, it looks good, but I'm gonna leave it in there for a little bit longer while I coat these. So after I coat them, I'm just gonna take them and then put them in the straight into the ooh, into the oil. I burnt this one on. I don't know where it's at. Oh no. Okay, this one. They look nasty. Y'all, this is what it's looking like so far. I don't know. So this is what the finishing product is looking like. It looks a little ratchet, but we'll see once the taste testers taste it. Okay guys, so now I have my little brother here to help me taste. What? Yes, you do. Okay, so. Today I made hot Cheeto covered mozzarella sticks. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Let me get some. So it's only a little bit. Okay. Okay. So first I'm gonna break mine apart just to see if it's like you know like the videos. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay. You can buy them too. You ready? One. Two. Are they nasty? No, no, no. It's good. Look at Brayden's face. Oh, yeah. Y'all, shh. Real quick. Okay, guys, so basically, what do you give it out of 10? Six. I'll go six. Okay. I, I think I'd say the same thing. Well, okay. Like, <laughs> okay. I think I give it like a five or a four because the smell is really bad. Like, it's so bad. It makes me like spit it up. I couldn't do it. Make me like? It made me spit it up. And um, you can't even taste the hot Cheetos. This is all burnt. Like, you can see it's hot Cheetos on there, but you can't even taste the a five or a six. Daddy gave it a five or a six. Yeah, that's what I said. So it's not that bad, but it's like I don't know. We gotta get some air freshener in here. And so I <laughs> she spit it all out on the plate. So I, I can swallow it because I pulled my hot Cheeto crust off. I'm gonna give it a six. You pulled the hot Cheeto crust off. Ooh. Yes. Look at it. <laughs> When you look at it, like, look, it look like fungus is growing out of it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to try this at home, I would not recommend it just because I'm kind of upset that I wasted my money. But it was okay. Stop picking at me. <laughs> Make sure you go check out some of my other videos and follow me on Instagram at Nicole. Everything is in the description. 
make sure you share my channel and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>